All right, welcome back, Tennessee Valley. We've got an active night ahead of us. Uh, this afternoon, there are going to be some showers developing across Jackson County, DeKalb County, and to our folks out of Georgia, but the better risk of storms will be moving in tonight. So let's get to it. High res radar is painting a little bit of rainfall well to our west. That could blossom up and just clip our far southern half later this afternoon. What we are going to be watching, though, comes tonight. In fact, this evening, storms will be developing out of southern Missouri. Once those storms develop later today, we'll have a better idea of timing, but it looks to be an overnight event here, uh, mainly after about 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning. Let me show you the rapid refresh model. If you plan on doing some yard work today, further north you are, I think the better dry day you're going to have, but we are going to start to see some isolated showers start to pop this afternoon. The rapid refresh is shown by about, by about 4 o'clock or so. Very light and isolated over Jackson. I don't see things very organized at this point, uh, so some rainfall likely for this evening. I do have another forecast model that is showing by about 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock or so. We could have some thunderstorms just north across Pikeville, across the Athens area. The rapid refresh is not indicating that, but the Vipercast is. So today, it's our last warm day for a while. 74 right now in Chattanooga, 72 over Cleveland. I'm putting us at a high today of 83. Last 80 degree high for a while. That cold front arrives early tomorrow morning. So here's the weather headlines that we're breaking down. Storms arrive tonight. There's going to be two rounds, I think, between 8 p.m., 11 p.m., and then again into the early morning hours Thursday. The greatest risk is going to be from 2 o'clock to 5 o'clock in the morning. So this is nighttime. That's going to be, unfortunately, uh, the timing of this doesn't do us any favors. There's also some new information to tell you about, too. The enhanced risk that we were sh showing you earlier today, it's been expanded. It now includes areas east of 75. Athens is under this, Monroe County, Polk County is also under the enhanced risk. So here's the probability maps. We do have a 5% probability for a tornado west across Tullahoma, just clips Grundy County. The rest of the Tennessee Valley is under a 2% probability. So once again, that's got an eyebrow raised. Damaging wind risk, that is the greatest threat with the storms tonight. And there is a potential for large hail too, a 15% probability. So. Here is your homework for tonight. This is what I need you to do between now and late tonight. Weather radio, check. Fresh batteries in it, check. Cell phone charge, notifications on. Guys, if your phones are on, do not disturb. You will not get severe thunderstorm warnings. You'll get a tornado warning, but if there's a severe thunderstorm warning, it will not notify, not, uh, notify you. And Make sure you've got a designated place. Here's the rest of the forecast. Tomorrow after 7 a.m., I think we're going to be dry. Cooler air moves in. Coming up at noon, I'll show you the newest hour-by-hour hour Vipercast.